What's up, family? Thank you so much for tuning in today. If this is your first time, welcome. My name is Nakia Alexander, and I am the owner of NA Signings. Before we get into this video, I just want to thank you all for the love and support. Thank you all to my subscribers. You guys let me get me help me hit my goal for my channel. So thank you so much. Um, keep tuning in because I am going to keep bringing good content. I know the last few weeks I have not been consistent, but I promise you, you will get that um, going forward. Now I had a lot of things going on with friends and family and just not was not able to come and make videos. Um, but before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of people that view my videos, but do not subscribe. So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that like button, share, and also hit the notification bell. So every time I go and bring a video, you guys will be notified. So that way you won't miss it. All right, so we're going to get into um, going direct. So what that means is um, once you start becoming a loan signing agent, the first thing that you do is you sign up for signing services and they find you the jobs and then they bring them to you, but they take a portion of your fee. So when you go direct with the direct title company, you are going to be getting the full fee. So as an example, if you are doing a re primary refinance and a signing service have assigned it, let's say that they say you can, they'll pay you a hundred dollars. The title company may be paying them 150, but they are going to be taking a cut of it because they basically have the relationship with the title company. So that's their business. So they're going to take a portion of that fee. Well, obviously the main reason why we want to do this and we want to be successful at doing it is going direct so we can get the full fee. Now, I don't want to down signing services because that is a business that someone has. Um, that is actually something that I am looking into getting to into in the future. So, and I know it's a business and at the end of the day, you know, everybody has, everybody wants to make money in this. So if the signing service has the relationship with the title company, obviously they are going to have to take a part, a portion of that fee, even though you're the one that's printing, closing and all of that, but they found the business for you. So it's kind of like the Uber of, or Lyft of, um, the real estate business. Um, the signing services will find the customer. I mean, the signing services will find the customers for you and then they will fill them out to different notaries and then they're going to take their portion. And those numbers that I'm giving you is just an example. Um, so your ultimate goal is to want to go direct. Now you hear a lot of people saying that don't go direct when you're new. And, and to me, I agree with that. I, I wanted to get my feet wet. I wanted to get some experience. So someone said yesterday um, in a clubhouse um, pop-up I was in that, look at signing services as paid training. So you're getting paid and you're actually going through like on the job training while you're doing the, the work. So just look at that, it's not a bad thing. Signing services, um, gave, it gave me a lot of experience in this business. So our ultimate goal is to want to go to direct so that way we don't have to worry about the middleman. We don't have to worry about anyone taking a portion of our fee. And now we're building relationships with those title companies. So that's the key. You have to build relationships with the title companies. If you don't build relationships with the title companies, they won't send you consistent business. So I'll give you an example. Um, I walk, went around to my, um, in my state in Indiana, um, well, Indianapolis, I'm in Indianapolis, but I went around and I went to, to about 20 title companies wow. um, on one day. I decided that this was going to be my marketing day. So I went around to about 20 title companies and um, I dropped in, I dropped my cards off. I um, introduced myself and I, you know, let them know that I am available evenings, weekends, you know, whatever you need, feel free to give me a call. Um, some of a lot of them were saying that basically they had notaries on staff and I'm going to be honest when I went into the title companies for the first time it was very intimidating I didn't I didn't really know you know what to say really I had like a little script that I had made out for myself but all that kind of went out the window and I was just like freestyling it I was like hi my name is Nakia I am a a loan signing agent. Um, I just want to introduce myself to you, provide you my cards, let you know that I do uh, my my county as well as the surrounding counties. And I'm going to provide you with my business card. 
Um, so I did that. I gave them some treats uh, and, you know, just tried to do a, a, a introduction of my business. Um, and I, I thought, okay, that was it. So a few weeks went by and I never heard from any, any, any one of them. But the key is the follow up. So I started following up like after I wasn't hearing from them and, and don't get me wrong, like two weeks is not a long time to, to not hear from them. You, you, it may be months before you hear from them, but what I was doing is keeping th them, keeping me on their minds. So I would just do follow up. Hey, I just wanted to reach back out to you, let you know I'm still available. Here's my hours. Um, these are the counties that I um, serve just so they can remember they have, now they have a face and then they can put a name to that email. So that is one of the biggest things if you are going to start going direct. Now, if you are new, you want to wait, you want to um, get signing service business first, learn those documents. So that way, when you do go into the title companies and start getting the business from the title companies, you can be confident that you know what you're doing and that then they can be confident with you knowing that you are going to take care of that signing. If you are doing a really good job and you are a good notary, they are going to make sure that they bring that business to you. So, um, I feel like I'm rambling right now, but um, I just want, like, I want you guys to know that it takes it takes a lot of hard work and dedication when you want to go direct and want to continue to have that direct business. So when I went around, I dropped all my cards off. I introduced myself. Some people seemed like they were very interested. Some didn't. So out of the 20 offices, I probably, I've gotten, actually, I got two out of that. However, one of the offices that I work for has about five offices in Indiana um, that they also, um, sends me business, not all five of them, but p for sure two send me business all the time. The other ones, um, I was invited to an open house, um, networking event that they had for the company. So I got to meet like everyone that worked at the other offices, which is nice. And I gave them my cards. Of course, um, these other two type title companies love me. Um, so they are basically referring me to these other offices. So, I would say like with that one office, I have five potential offices they may be reaching out to me because they are, it's word of mouth from their own title, uh, other title companies. So that was that. So I did some follow up and finally they gave me a call and they gave me a chance. Well, when they called me, my first thing is because when I'm, I'm always in these groups and people are like, you know, you get the full fee, tell them $150. So when I was getting phone calls from direct title companies, random, I would say $150. And, um, I, this particular title company called like, Hey, we just want to see if you're available to do a closing. And I said, yeah, I'm sure I am. And they asked me for my fee and I said $150. So she said, okay, well, we'll give you a call back. And so we hung up and I said, to me, it's not about the money. Obviously that's the ultimate goal. I want to make the money, but to me, it's really about building the relationship. So I called back. I said, Hey, this is Nakia Alexander. I just spoke with you. Um, you know, I mentioned to you that I will do a primary refinance for $150. I said, I just want to give you guys a call back and let you know that it's really not about the money for me. It's about building relationships and I want to build a relationship with you guys. So let me know what, what fee you guys are comfortable with paying and we can, we can work to negotiate to see if that works. And she was like, thank you so much for calling back. Okay. I'm getting ready to call the, the lender and then I'll give you a call back. Sure enough, she gave me a call back and they assigned me the thing. I did an awesome job, um, took it back to them that same day. And when I got back, they had a check waiting for me. Um, I have checks here now, but that's the thing about going direct is a lot of times you'll get paid that same day. You might get paid the next day or you might get paid within a couple days. It's not a long wait. So that particular time when I walked in, she was like, here's your check. And I was like, wow, like I had been used to getting paid two weeks or 30 days and I've never like dropped a signing off and they're handing, handing me a check. So at that point I said, now I like direct. So they're paying you really quick. Like I said, sometimes it could be the same day. It could be the next day or it could be within a few days. Um, you're building a relationship. So they ha may have other offices that have closings in your area that may reach out to you. And then not only that, you will be able to eventually get the full fee from them. I mean, you're going to be getting the full fee because there's no middleman. And then the biggest thing is that they are going to be referring me out to other people. When I went to that open house that they had, the one title company that I work for, I met a couple realtors, gave them my cards. 
Um, and then the title company, I was telling them about what I'm doing. I said, I'm starting, you know, to train and mentor notaries. Um, I said, and I actually hosted a brunch here in Indiana. And she was like, that is so nice of you, Nakia. She said, the next time you do that, let me know. And I'm going to sponsor the food. That was so nice of her. And she said, and if you want me to come and talk on behalf of the title companies, I'll do that for you as well. So I so appreciate that relationship. Uh, and it all started from, you know, me initially saying, oh, I'll do it for 150 because this is what I've heard that you should do. But then I called back and said, look, it's not about the money for me. It's literally about building a relationship. And that set, that set me apart from any, probably anybody else that they call. They're like, this girl wants to build a relationship. And if she wants to build a relationship, that means that we can probably do the same with her and we can have a great working relationship. And like I said, I have a, a good relationship with them. They are all, I'm always the first person that they call. Whenever I call on the phone, they'll say, Hey, our mobile notary is here. Even when I went to that event, they was like, this is our mobile notary introduced me to the owner of the title company and everything. So that made me feel so good. So yes, I love my direct business. My other direct client, they don't call me as much as my main one, but the other one, they call me pretty consistent. So I probably at least do one or two signings for them a week. My direct, I do a little bit more for them um, on a consistent basis because they are using me as their preferred notary. And they have notaries. They have several people in the office that can actually also notarize documents, but they still utilize me a lot. So now I've created um, um, another marketing strategy. Um, I have I have this folder um, of like different things. So it shows um, in here my commission and then it'll have my, shows my LLC. Um, I have my background check in here. I have, so all of my credentials, I've put all of my credentials in this folder and I'm taking this to the title companies. That's gonna be my next thing. And then I got these made, so super cute. Um, I don't have a business card on here, but it says, need a hand with your closing. And then my business card goes here. I am going to, I bought some string from Michaels. So I'm gonna cut the string, put them in this little hole and attach it to this little sanitizer. And I'm gonna drop those off at a few title companies. So I'm super excited about that um, because I think that has a little cute touch. And so, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. So I am coming up on my year in business. Um, and I'm excited about what the next chapter is going to bring in my business. I've done really well working with larger title companies directly and working with signing services. I've done very well um, in my first year. So I know next year is just gonna be a step above that because now I'm gonna be going and doing a lot of direct business. I'm gonna be building a lot of relationships with different people. I've joined my Indie Chamber of Commerce. You guys see that little thing there. So I'm a member of the Indie Chamber of Commerce. So that is also another um, networking tool. They have a lot of networking events. Um, I think I mentioned that in one of my videos that I went to a women's business only, women owner, women, women business owner um, event, met a lot of awesome women that is in business um, for themselves. And um, I've actually met up with uh, one lady that I may, um, met there. Um, she's a, a financial coach, wellness coach. I told her, I said, we, we really need to like collaborate and get together um, talk finances to people um, because what I've learned in this business is that you make a lot of quick money. You make a lot of fast money. And if you have always been a W-2 employee, you're used to getting that paycheck. And every you know two weeks or however you get paid, you know that's a guaranteed paycheck. But when you're owning your own business, you don't know what day in or day out is going to be like. You don't know if this month could be an awesome month, next month could be a month down. So you have to make sure you pace yourself. So I think bringing that financial wellness coach in is going to be um, really good in the notary field because uh, honestly, when I started, yes, I was making a lot of fast money. I was working um, full time, making good money part time. And um, I was, I was living it up, um, you know, doing a lot of things for myself, taking myself on trips which I'm not gonna stop that. Now I just made myself a little travel fund and I have it in, under control to where this is my travel fund. So when it's time for me to travel, I'm using those funds. And that way I budget myself properly. But I think um, having that financial wellness coach um, come up, be a part of 
you know, a, a, a session or a video that I bring to you guys will be amazing. Um, so that will be coming to you guys soon. Um, but if you have questions, make sure you put them in the comments. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much to all of my subscribers. Again, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like it, share and hit that notification bell so you can so I can bring you all the good content um, on a weekly basis because that is what I'm going to be doing. Um, I do thank you guys so much. Make sure if you are into, into being a loan signing agent, get the experience with the signing services first. Um, do a really good job and build your business up so you can be ready to go direct and get those direct clients where you are getting the full fee. I hope this video helped you guys. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video.